All right, hi. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Alex Stoddard, and I'm going to be uh, presenting to you on Vue.js. And what Vue.js is, it's a front-end JavaScript framework. So um, we've all learned React. This is in the same vein. Uh, it's called a progressive JavaScript framework. Uh, it's based on the view layer only. Uh, use HTML-based templates, and it has component-scoped CSS. So every single component you have can have its own separate CSS, keeping everything nice and separated. It's pretty sweet. Um, so what's a progressive framework? A progressive framework adapts to a project's inherent complexity. And what that means is if you just need like a form filled out, you can have like a 20-line snippet of code that you can pop in, and that's all you worry about. But as your project gets more and more complex, you add more and more things onto it. So, for example, you have this declarative rendering, and that's where if you want a small thing, there's your form. But as you get bigger and bigger, you add more things. You have a component system, so like our separation concerns in React. Um, then you can do things with client-side routing, so your project gets bigger. And that uses something called uh, view router. And then as you get bigger and bigger, you get your large scale state management. And that's something with Vuex. Or I think there's actually a package to use Redux too. So there's lots of options. Um, and then you can build your system and get huge. But I didn't get that far. So here's an example, another example of how the simple versus complex work. Here's just a general basic template. You can pop this onto your element and you can get your message. And then here's a, an example of a giant complex element with hooks and triggers and filters and methods on it. Um, don't ask me to figure out what that does. <laughs> it's a little tough. I think that's like the entire to-do list on one component. Um, so here's some reasons why you should use views. Uh, it's first one, it's got good documentation. It's easy to read through. Um, once you start reading it, I think you can get coding in view in a day. Um, and lots of teams have brought this in. If they want to try a new framework, they can implement it in one day. It's fast, so it is more performant than Angular or React. So if you can see this, this is a uh, Comparison between all the web frameworks, and this is online, it's actually pretty cool. So I put in Angular, React, um, Ember, which is the fourth most popular, and then Vue. And as you can see, Vue is mostly green, which is good. And if you look down here, it's uh, slowdown is only slower than vanilla JavaScript. So it's, the, it's pretty fast, um, which is good. Speed is always good. It scales well. Like I said before, you can go from templates to components to routing to stateless whatever. Um, it's easy to test since it uses pure functions. Um, just you can do it with Mocha and Chai if you wanted to. Um, and the good thing about Vue is there's less startup issues. So if you want to use React, you have to not only get Babel, because you're using AS6, but you also have to do um, Webpack and bring in all your different packages. With Vue, you can actually just pop in a script CDN and it'll run, which I'm going to show an example of later. Um, and then also, just a cool thing, every single component has a should component update on it. So it, you don't even have to worry about that. It just, it just works. It's, it's almost like black magic. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Um, so. Another reason to use it, it is up and coming. It's the next big thing. Um, currently, it has the second most Git stars on GitHub between, behind React. And I think in July, it was the first month ever that it had more stars than React did in a month. Um, by downloads, it's like a distant third behind Angular and React. But it's becoming more and more popular with developers, which I th is a good sign. in one to two years, people will be act asking you to learn Vue. Um, and here are some companies that use Vue. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of Asian companies. It's pop more popular overseas in America. I'm not completely sure why. But, I mean, there's a good list of names there. I mean, Alibaba is one of the biggest companies in the world. You've got Nintendo, Cura. And funnily enough, 
Facebook, they use the view on one of their, uh, their news feed page. I thought that's hilarious. I don't know. Crack me up. Um, some cons for using Vue is it's got a smaller community size than React and Angular, um, which means that if you have problems, you're less likely to find your answers on Stack Overflow. It uh, means that there are less libraries for you to use. But that being said, um, even looking through the Vue packages, I didn't see anything that I couldn't do. Any, I didn't see anything with React that I couldn't do with Vue. Um, there's even a materialized view package. So, and as it becomes more and more popular, that issue is going to get smaller and smaller. Um, there's less job postings in America for view. Um, like I said, it's Asia. It's surprisingly popular in Asia, but American companies are a little behind. Um, and like, it's another thing to learn. So it adds to the JavaScript fatigue. You've got to learn. I mean, which frame should, framework should I use? Which back end should I use? That sort of stuff. That being said, it's pretty fun. So I'll show you a quick example. Here's some um, links if you want to look at, if you want me to slide this out later. Um, and I will show you that. First of all, I'll show you the, uh, the Facebook page that uses Vue. So I don't know if you want to see wh why maybe they use Vue. Um, and then I will show you a small template on how to create it. So let's start off with a random HTML page. Let's get rid of all this junk. And then let's import our CDN. So now we can use Vue. That's all we need. So if we're going to start off, we're going to need to pick out where we're going to use the view. And we're start making our app. And this is the part, this is where our, div, our uh, view template is going to um, work in. And we'll make a form, because that's easy enough to use. So here's uh, what you start off with. So this is called a directive. And the way you can tell is by the v dash. Um, and this is the data that we're going to um, work with that message pot. That's all we need. So I know this is bad form, but we're just going to put our script tag in the middle of our HTML so it's easier to see. And all we need to do is create a new view instance. So a view instance is just going to be an object. It's got your element, which is the element that you're going to work on. So we're going to work on the app. Um, and that's the only thing that it's going to modify. And then we can go to our data. And our data is just, it's basically the store. So this is where you keep your single truthy state. So we can call this message. And we'll do the classic hello world. So we could see that, and it would render. And that's pretty cool. But let's make sure that it actually works. So let's put in our message here. And the way you can see your, what you put in is through that mustache-like um, context. So if this works, then you should see it on the web page. Let's refresh. So there we go. You can see it. You can modify it. Perfect. It's quick, easy, easy to implement. Um, so just another example of uh, a view component. This one I've already made. Um, and this one shows you just some more directives. Uh, you still got your model, which will, is like a search bar. And then you can also loop through things. So right now, this is a list of names. Here's a list of names that you can loop through. So for friend and friends. And then this pipe here is going to filter it. So we can filter by name. So this whole thing should give us a, here's, here's your, your new view instance. You're targeting the view part on the uh, HTML. And then this is your data that you're working with. So this, this thing should give us a search bar function that should re-render based on what we put in. So Ben, there we go. Yeah. Simple, fun, easy to use. Um, that's view. Thank you.